The Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game has a lot of unique words and phrases that players have built up over the years. Many of them are commonly used among other games and have just simply been imported over, while some of these terms are completely unique to the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game. Today I wanted to go through and explain 30 of the most important words, phrases and terms you need to know in Yu-Gi-Oh! if you want to play the game and seem like you know what you're talking about. So without further ado, let's get into it. There are two main formats of Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG and OCG. TCG stands for Trading Card Game, while OCG means Original Card Game. The OCG is what is played in Asia, where the game originated from, while the TCG is played everywhere else. The main difference between the two is basically the choice of cards used in the ban list, though there are some other differences. The board is a term that literally refers to the entire field. When people say back row, they are referring to any of your or your opponent's spell or traps. Since these cards are placed behind your monster cards in, essentially, the back row. A playset means to have three copies of a single card. An example would be, I use a playset of Waterpons in my deck. A vanilla monster is just another term to refer to a normal monster. Since they possess no effects, they are considered to be basic or vanilla. But vanilla is the best type of ice cream, so I don't like that that's a derogatory term, but <laughs> alright. A tech card is usually something someone adds into a deck to deal with a certain situation or strategy, also referred to as a spice card. It's basically a card not a part of your core deck or its main mechanics, but is there to serve a specific purpose. A floater is a monster that creates a card advantage either when it's summoned to the field or when it leaves the field. For example, it might have an ability to replace itself when either of those two conditions are met. Staple cards are cards that fit into any deck and are commonly used by many duelists since they are consistently good and fit into a variety of different decks. The big three staple cards tend to be Monster Reborn, Dark Hole and Heavy Storm. That's game, or this should be lethal, are phrases people usually announce when the cards on the field most likely will result in a win for them. The term is very similar to one used in chess called checkmate. OTK means one turn kill, which is to win a duel within a single turn. FTK means first turn kill, which is to win a duel on the very first turn of a duel. OP stands for overpowered and is usually a term people give to cards or decks that are considered to be too powerful in comparison to other cards or decks. An alternative word used to describe something as OP is broken. Tiers are a way of grouping decks based on their level of strength in a competitive sense. Decks can move up and down tiers as the game changes and their deck's strength grows or diminishes over time. Usually, S tier or tier 0 is classed as the highest, with A, then B, then C following, or 1, then 2, then 3. An example of a popular Yu-Gi-Oh! tier list would be the one used by Duel Link's meta. Usually S tier or tier 0 decks are considered to be overpowered, and are usually only able to be beaten by a deck using similar cards to it. The meta refers to top tier competitive decks that many people are using due to their current strength in the card game. In a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, for example, out of 100 players, there might be only about 5 or 6 different decks in that tournament. The reason for this being, many people are following the meta, since they are using the most powerful decks at the current time. Anti-meta cards or decks are decks or cards specifically designed to counter the best decks in the current meta game. A rogue deck is a deck that sees little to no play in a competitive environment, and to see them being used in the sea of meta decks, well, they're clearly gone rogue. Power creep is the slow circumstance that results in, through the evolution of a game, 
new must equal better. This ideology results in new cards outclassing older cards in almost every way, making those older cards completely obsolete. A buff is when a beneficial change has been given to a card's effect. If Pot of Greed, for example, was given a Erita and updated to say, instead of drawing two cards, you draw three cards, that would be considered a buff. Whereas the opposite to a buff is a nerf, where a detrimental change has been applied to a card's effect. Using the same example, if Pot of Greed got updated to say, instead of drawing two cards, you draw one card instead, that would be considered a nerf. <laughs> A beat stick is a monster with very high attack points that you usually use to attack and swing into your opponent's monsters. Pop is a word that is said when you want to destroy a card. Bounce is something said when you want to return a card from the field back to someone's hand. Burn or burn damage refers to using effect damage instead of battle damage to reduce your opponent's life points. Decks that focus on this kind of strategy are usually called burn decks. A brick or bricking means that the initial hand you were given has given you little or even no options of play, meaning your hand is about as useful as a brick. The term top deck is an act seen many times throughout the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime series, referred to in that as the heart of the cards or a destiny draw. It's basically when you draw the exact card you needed from the top of your deck in a dire or game ending situation. An engine in Yu-Gi-Oh! refers to a number of cards that helps a deck draw or to supplement their core deck in a duel. Usually, an engine can slide into almost any deck without hindering the main part of the deck. An example of this could be in, for example, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, the Neos engine. To mill or milling cards is the act of sending cards from the top of a player's deck to the graveyard. A mirror match is when two duelists are using the same deck or archetype to duel each other. The word nuke is used when a player is about to destroy all the cards on the field at once. Black Rose Dragon or Judgment Dragon typically result in this word being used. If a player says I scoop, it means they surrender. The word scoop is used as typically when a player is defeated, they tend to scoop up all their cards before they walk away. A tea set in Yu-Gi-Oh! is when you set one monster in face down defense position, followed by a face down spell or trap behind it. It's a common play in Yu-Gi-Oh! and the formation of the card looks like a T, so it was given the name a tea set. And finally, we have net deck. When you ever hear the word net deck, it is basically referring to someone that is using a deck that has been completely copied from someone on the internet. This copy and pasted deck recipe is looked down upon by a lot of people as net decking results in a deck that has none of your own personality put into it. But then again, sometimes net decks can be the most efficient forms of a deck. So then, that was 30 common phrases used in Yu-Gi-Oh. There are actually a bunch more, but I felt these were the main ones, so these are the ones I'm going to stick to for now. If you have any more words or phrases you think people should know, then definitely leave them in the comments section below for others to see, and give a description of basically what it means. Other than that, thank you all for watching, I hope you all had a fantastic time, don't forget to leave the video a like, and I'll catch you all later. Bye everyone!